Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Kohen and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Podcast. Today I am going to talk about how to implement a, an Apex trigger in Salesforce. So first of all let's understand what is a trigger. So trigger is an Apex code block that executes before or after an event occurs. And the types of operation uh, which can trigger perform that is insert, update or delete. It means we can call, we can execute a trigger or we can execute the trigger block on insertion, on updation or deletion on an object. So let's understand for the business, business requirement and then we'll be going to create or uh, implement the same thing or same trigger in Salesforce. So my business requirement is let's suppose there is an account object and under that account object there are few contacts which are associated with account details. So as you can see over here, the phone number of account and the phone number of all the contacts, they are same. So it is also possible that one account can have multiple contacts. So my requirement is if a user change the or if the user edit the phone number of the of any account it would also update in the in associated contacts also so I would like to update its associated contact phone number also so that's my business requirement so let's see how to implement this with the help of a trigger now it may be a question and can also come that this thing we can implement using workflows also like I have already explained in my previous video about workflows so but there is an issue with this that in workflows with the help of workflow we can only update the parent record based on the child record but in this scenario I would like to update the child record based on the parent record so it's a vice versa that's why this this functionality cannot be implemented using a workflow so this can be only implemented using triggers so let's see how to create a trigger so there are many ways to create a trigger but the best way to create a trigger is from the particular object on which I you would like to implement trigger or you would like to create trigger. So how to do this? So I click on accounts then I access this quick access menu and will go to view object this account object. So this is my account object. On this account object, if you see on the left side, there is a trigger option over here. So I clicked on triggers. So right now there are no trigger defined for this particular object over here. So we will, I would like to create a new trigger for this particular account object. So I click on new. Now you can see here, there is an apex trigger block over here. We would like to create or implement the functionality over here. We would like to write our trigger block over here. So I would like to give a trigger name over here. So I would like a name over, give a name over here, phone update on contact. This will be the name of a trigger and on which event I would like to do this. So I would like to perform this after or I would like this trigger to be executed after update event on this particular account object. Now first of all I would like to extract the the new record which has been updated or the updated record so I like I'll execute a for loop over here for account ACC trigger dot new so this trigger dot new will extract the new set of records then I'm going to create a contact list over here and it's a list object is equal to I'm going to write an SQL query over here select phone from contact where account ID is equal to colon ACC dot ID and then I would like to update the because this uh, a single account 
can have multiple contacts. For example, as you can see over here, this Grand Hotels and Resort, this has got two contacts over here. So I would like to update the account number or I would like to update the phone number for both the contacts over here. So that's why I am using a for loop over here for contact phone and it will execute till the or it will run a loop till the there is a data in the list over here. And then I would like to update the phone number so is equal to acc dot phone. And after this update list com. So I have updated this and click on save. Okay, so expecting a semicolon line eight. Oh sorry, ACC dot phone. There will be no save. Drag it over here. Click on save. The trigger has saved and make sure that it should it will be active. If it is not active, so even if your trigger has created or you have created a trigger, it will not be applicable on that particular object. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this phone number over here. So now as you can see here, the phone number of this particular account, Grand Hotels and Resort, it is 312-596-1000 and same is associated context. Their phone numbers are also same, 312-596-1000 and now I'm going to edit this record. So I've changed the phone number to let's say 5000 and click on save. So now as you can see here the phone number is updated over here and if you scroll down and check the contact phone number or the phone numbers of the contact you can see the phone numbers have been updated. So it's a business requirement because if you have multiple contacts associated with a single account and we would like to change the phone numbers so this with the help of triggers we can perform. So that's all in my video if you have any questions you can send an email to me or you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or bisptrainings.com or you can visit our website and you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos. I will be coming up with some new videos containing new topics on Salesforce. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day.